Phil. Hey everyone and welcome to Phil Friday. This past week I went to Swampscott, Massachusetts to shoot a house for a Sotheby's International Realty Realtor, Realtor. A Sotheby's International Realty Realtor, nailed it. And uh, I thought that I would walk you kind of through the process of how I shoot these videos, the products that I use, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the final product and talk over it and discuss uh, the process of which I went through to do this. So, let's get into it. So first, a little bit about this house. This is a four bedroom, two bath home in Swampscott, Massachusetts. It's got some views of the water, which is nice, which is why I start normally with a nice drone shot to establish the location that we're in. Uh, normally my order for shooting videos goes drone shot of the aerial, make my way, I get a little bit closer and closer, and then make my way into the house. Now the outside of this house wasn't a real big selling point. Normally I would focus on like the yard and but in this house, I wanted to get into it because I really liked the inside of the house and I thought that was a bigger selling point. This house is going for $969,000. Uh, it was built in the 1900s, so it is a Victorian house, which is pretty phenomenal. The realtor did a really nice job of giving it a very bright, airy feel and styling it very well. So with my drone work, I use the DJI Phantom 4. I've been using it now for about two to three years. The Phantom 4 gets the job done. I do have my license. I'm FAA licensed, uh, which is required if you're going to be making money flying drones. So you want to be making sure that you're doing this all legally. Uh, so get your license and don't hire someone who can't prove they have a license or else you could also be in trouble hiring them. To shoot all my internals, I use the DJI, DJI, I always say DJI, it just sounds better to me, DJI Osmo Plus. This is a handheld camera. It allows me to shoot quickly and smoothly, which is key because realtors don't have a lot of time to just wait for you to do this or they want things done quickly. So what I do is I actually shoot in a 60 frame rate this allows me to slow it down and give it an extraordinarily smooth look. So with this house, I shot all the interior interiors on the Osmo, and the exteriors were all done with the DJI Phantom 4. The order of that I shoot, start with the aerial, establish location, then I move normally to the outside of the house because as someone going to view this house, if you're a potential buyer, you're going to want to, you're going to walk up to the house, you're gonna look at the outside, then you're gonna walk inside, you're gonna look into the living room, you're gonna look into the kitchen, then you're gonna to go to the bedrooms, bathrooms, and then you're probably gonna step back outside. So that's kind of the order I shoot in. I wanna give, as someone walking up to the property would view it as. Uh, because it allows you to feel as though you're kind of walking through the property as if you're really there. And then of course, I like to end on an established aerial shot to once again show, hey, this is where the house is, this is where you could be living. And it really ends the video at the same high note that it starts on. So that's it for me from Phil Friday. That's my brief little tour about the products that I use the styling that I use, and the order of which I shoot the videos. Uh, and if you actually shoot it in that order, it makes it a lot easier in the editing process, which I'll go into sometime in the future. Hope you enjoyed this Phil Friday and this tour of this wonderful house in Swampscott, Massachusetts. If you are interested in this house, please visit harborsidesur.com and uh, you will find it there. I will leave the web ID and the link in the description. Subscribe, like, and do all that great stuff, and I'll see you next Friday.